Hello and welcome to the M7 Innovation Brief. I'm your host, Matt Marr, and you know the deal. Media tech innovation, 90 seconds. Let's do it. Let's talk sleek VR headsets. HTC announced the Vive Flow, a compact and lightweight VR headset for wellness and mindfulness, all controlled by your phone. You are looking at a product made for nobody. VR enthusiasts won't want it because it lacks power, functionality, even real controllers. And a newbie to VR still has to plug the headset into a 10,000 milliamp battery for it to work. This is a portable, non-portable, bug-eyed product that's only compatible with Android devices and had to be photoshopped onto stock imagery to look convincing. This will fail. Let's talk crypto criminals. Tether, a popular stablecoin in the crypto world, was fined $42.5 million by the CFTC for lying about being backed by the US dollar. Whoopsie! Nothing like telling a little fib to hide the fact your stablecoin is anything but stable. In fact, it could be worthless. Listen, cryptocurrency is not going away and will eventually have a more stable place in our global financial system, but a few bad apples like Tether can ruin the bunch. And while governments are racing to either shut down or regulate crypto, they should perhaps start with trying to understand it first so bad actors like Tether can't break through. And lastly, the dark side of tech. Ghost Robotics unveiled their robot dog armed with a sniper rifle at a US military conference in DC. There was a collective gasp in the media, and rightfully so, it's terrifying, but this is not an autonomous robot. It needs a human with a remote control to move it. Regardless, there's a reason companies like Boston Dynamics have a strict policy that their robots can never be weaponized by any partner. I share this because if there was ever a time to talk about robotic regulation and making sure these dogs and controllers don't get hacked, now's the time. Well, that's all the time that we have for the M7 Innovation Brief. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you next week.